What if you could give your skincare routine a boost and get fabulous looking skin without even adding one single product? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do that in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video a little bit different because I've been going through a lot of the comments and questions both here on the channel and also over in my skincare community, Skin So Fabulous. And one of the things many people are looking to do besides pare down their skincare routine and not spend so much money is to make it more effective with what you already have. So that makes total sense to me. And there are some things to do that a lot of people don't do in the skincare routine. They don't cost anything, but just a couple of minutes. And they really can make a huge difference in how your skin looks. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 36 years, helping folks like you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about three esthetician tips, tricks, things up my sleeve that can really help you out, not cost you any money. And the first and foremost thing that you need to understand about skincare products is that they need to be able to penetrate your skin in order to be effective. And what happens when we apply skincare products to completely dry skin they don't work as well because dead skin cells on the surface of your skin, they kind of hold on to oil, it's sort of like a potato chip. If you look under a microscope, that dead skin cell looks a lot like a Lay's potato chip. And you will probably never eat Lay's potato chips again after knowing that, but I digress. The skin oil that's absorbed into those dead skin cells or your skincare products that are absorbed into those dead skin cells create a sort of impenetrable waxy surface. That's why we talk about exfoliation so much here on the channel and getting that dead skin off a couple times a week. But there are a couple of things you can do to make this process for your skincare products much easier. The first and foremost is to always apply your products to damp skin, not wet skin, damp skin. So once you jump out of the shower or tub or after you've cleansed your face, you want to try to get quickly into your skincare products to allow them to work better. There are two exceptions to this rule. If you're using glycolic acid or salicylic acid, you do need to wait a minute or two so that your skin normalizes both in pH and moisture levels, not let it get completely dry, but you want to wait. And for guys, especially if you've shaved, if you've ever applied glycolic acid products to your skin after you've shaved, you know what I'm talking about, it stings. So in those cases, if those are your first on products, you want to wait a couple of minutes. You can even apply a light facial mist. That's what I often do, especially in the winter months, Mario Badescu is one of my favorite facial mist products. But if you don't have that, taking a damp washcloth and just re-dampening the skin will do it. The other thing you can do to really help your skincare products work better and help your skin look better is to apply steam to the face. Now you can do this with a steaming device if you have one, but because we talked about not having to have any extra products or buy any extra thing, you can simply do this with a very warm to hot washcloth on the face for two to three minutes, both in the morning and in the evening before applying your skincare routine. What that helps to do is decongest the pores and make sure any mist, oil, dirt, bacteria, are expelled from those pores because as your skin warms up, sweat is produced even if you don't really see it. And there's also a softening of the sebum that's down in the pore around the hair follicle. This is a step that I learned from a dermatologist back when I had severe acne that helped me a whole lot, but I've employed it in my skincare routine all the years that I've been doing it doesn't cost anything and it can really make a very big difference. Again, warm to hot, not super hot. We don't want to burn the skin. It shouldn't be uncomfortable. It should actually feel pleasant. And you will know when the hair follicle has pushed upward because there is a physical sensation that happens in the skin as those pores release their contents. Two easy, no cost steps that can make a huge difference in how your skincare products work. And then the third thing that you can do to really help your skin look better and your routine work better is to give yourself a facial massage. Now I have videos for this here on the channel. I talk about this all the time, but what we want to do is improve superficial circulation. We want to get blood flowing to those muscles just under the skin and to the skin surface. And we want to help drain any excess lymph fluid that has gathered around the jawline and under the jaw where your lymph nodes are or under the eyes where we look at that puffiness that happens. This is a really great step early in the morning. Now when you do a facial massage, you want to use a moisturizer 
We don't want to tug and pull the skin. We want a super hydrated, almost slippery surface to do these massages so that that doesn't happen. Now you can use any moisturizer that you have. You can use a facial cleansing oil and do this. The point is to give the skin a good, thorough massage to wake it up, get that blood flowing and that lymph fluid out of there. Now I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to briefly do facial massage, but again, I have whole videos on facial yoga exercises and facial massage, and I will put links to those videos down below in the video description box so you can watch those in their entirety when we're done here today. I'm gonna to be applying polyglutamic acid. This is polyglutamic acid from the Inky List. Again, any moisturizer, facial oil, you can even use olive oil if you'd like. We just wanna make sure that the surface of the skin is super hydrated. I like polyglutamic acid because it pulls in moisture to the skin from the air. And yes, it has a polymer type feel on the skin, which allows it to stay smooth. It's sort of a capping mechanism that holds moisture in and you can just gently massage. You always wanna start in the middle and work your way across your cheekbone for the lymph glands underneath the eyes and the lymph fluid that can gather there for puffiness, pushing outward. Again, we don't wanna pull and stretch the skin, but you can already see how my skin is turning a brighter red because we're getting circulation to the surface of the skin. Same thing above the eyes on those muscles, right above the eyes on the brow bone, upward and outward. And then again on the jawline, upward and outward. And we wanna massage very lightly, very gently, and then just under the jawbone the same thing. These facial massages should only take about three to six minutes at most and really will improve the blood circulation in your skin. It's gonna give you a nice glow, very relaxing, and your skin and your skincare products are gonna work better for you and you're gonna get all of these benefits from just these steps without adding one single product to your skincare routine. Now, I hope you guys found the tips in this short video helpful. If you did, please like it. Let me know in the comments below. Share the video out. It really helps my channel. And for even more ways to roll the clock back on skin and body aging, be sure to check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you. Know that, right? Stay beautiful. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you over on that next video.